Hi, I'm Miss Jessa. And I'm Lindsay. <laughs> this month on Librarians Learn, we're learning about finger knitting. <laughs> We've got our instructions. Whoops. <laughs> We've got plenty of yarn. Let's see if we can figure this out. Without getting too tied up. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, so I've got my steps. I've got a finger knit. A mountain of yarn. I don't have my glasses on, but I'm willing to give it a try. So I do have some regular knitting experience, so I'm just going to preface that. Let's see how this goes. Is this a slip knot? I don't know. Weave the yarn under middle, over ring, under pinky. Over the pinky, under the ring, over the middle, under the pinky. Say what? <laughs> this does not look good. What have I done? <laughs> Try end up with purple fingers because I cut off the blood flow. No, 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 no. Something is amiss. I definitely did something wrong. Back and, oh no, it fell off my finger. Ah! How do I get back on? Maybe part of the problem was that I was going from step four to step eight. Yep. Okay. Take two. We're gonna try again. Whoa, above the line of loops that you just finished weaving. That was my mistake before. It kinda looks like spider webs. It does it not want to stay on my finger. Getting a little tight here. There's a knot in this string. It's gonna make it really hard. What did I do to offend this yarn? This is nothing like regular knitting. Just gonna say that right now. <laughs> Don't know what's going on here. I feel mostly like a cat, you know, in a yarn ball, just all tangled up right now. Once you get the rhythm, it goes pretty quick. This, this, this. Check it out. Is it pretty? No, but it's something. I'm so bad at finger knitting. Looks like something. Finger daddy. Okay, I'm done. I'm still gonna call it a success because it vaguely looks like it was knit. Here, here are my thoughts. You know, we're, we're still wearing masks, right? I mean, it looks kind of silly to begin with, but this is a practical use for it. Um, I was gonna try a headband. I did good. <laughs> no, I didn't. But I'm gonna be real with you here. This was like overwhelmingly frustrating. Um, I would rather stick to crafts and activities where I don't have to tie my fingers up in order to complete the project. Headbands are in, or like in again, right? Headbands are in. Well, that was fun. Um, I feel like this is pretty easy to do for most people. But it's pretty. It's got lots of different colors in it, and I like it. So I'll have to try again sometime. Anybody who does enjoy this, more props to you, so much respect, because this was incredibly hard and overwhelming and took forever. So, valuable skill. You guys rock. I do not. And if you feel comfortable doing the hand knitting for a while, definitely check out some of the books at our knitting collection and get yourself some needles and try some other projects. Anyway, have a great day. Check it out. Look at what I made. Well, that was a frustrating DIY, but it was worth it. Don't you agree? If you want to try finger knitting, find some yarn in a tutorial and show us what you can do. Or stop by the library and pick up a teen take home art kit. This month's kit includes the instructions that we used in this video, as well as yarn, but you'll have to include your own fingers. Tag us in your finger knit creations. And make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and visit our YouTube. We'll see you next time on Librarians Learn.